Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Today we're going to see how to root and install TWRP on the newly launched Redmi 4A. Here we go. Hello guys, so as you can see this is a Redmi 4A gold variant running on Android 6.0, MIUI 8.2.6 which is the latest version. Make sure you've unlocked your bootloader because that is a mandate install TWRP and get root access. So OEM unlocking and USB debugging must be enabled. 50% battery, make sure all the data is backed up to be safe. Now this particular link is mentioned in the description. It has four files. So you know, instead of going to different links, you can just go to one single link and download everything and just extract it. That makes things easy for you guys. So here we go. And let's go ahead and download this file. Now keep in mind that uh, you know this doesn't void your warranty. If that is the case with Xiaomi devices so don't worry about uh, your warranty but if you visit a service center just make sure you are on stock ROM and without root that should not be a problem there. So once the file is downloaded uh, just save it to your desktop and uh, double click on it this is a WinRAR file so make sure you have WinRAR installed on your computer and lazy flasher, super SU, TWRP recovery and the minimal ADB and fast boot for fast boot driver. So just go ahead and extract these four files to your desktop so that it is easy to access. There we go. Now once everything is extracted, just go ahead and uh, open that folder. So you can name this folder anything that you desire. It should be easier for you to identify. Now once you're in the extracted folder, you need to see what files we have we have the recovery lazy flasher minimal adp and super user now the lazy flasher and the super su file is what you'll have to copy to the internal memory of your phone and let's install minimal adp and fast boot that's going to be the first step so just hit i accept and remember this path on which you are installing because we're gonna need to copy the twrp file there so don't launch it yet just click on finish and next just copy the recovery file and go to C drive so yeah go to C drive go to program files if it's a 64-bit computer go to program program files x86 minimal ADB and fast boot and just copy this file over here now as you can see I have just connected my redmi 4a to the computer just to ensure that you know I copy these two files to the internal memory so just go ahead and copy these files to your phone's internal memory there we go and once that is done just go ahead and power off your redmi 4a And after the device has powered off, you need to press and hold volume down and the power key to enter the device in fast boot mode. You should see a fast boot logo as seen on the screen. Now, once it is in fast boot, just connect your USB cable to the phone and then connect it to your computer. If this is the first time you're connecting it to your computer, just give it a few seconds maybe so that it automatically identifies and installs the fast boot drivers. There you go. So the phone is now connected to Fastboot. So launch minimal ADB and Fastboot and type Fastboot devices to ensure that the phone is connected. Now you can go to the folder in which your recovery is there and right click on it and click on rename and right click on the name and copy. Now type Fastboot space flash space recovery space and then right click dot img and just hit enter all right so the recovery has been successfully flashed this is what it should show it should show okay and then on your phone press and hold volume up and the power button now this will take a while so please do not panic if it doesn't reboot in the first three or four seconds just keep 
the buttons pressed and the moment you see the me or mi logo you can let the buttons go off or you can release the buttons now on first attempt always remember don't boot the phone you have to directly go to TWRP. You will see this screen, which is a service menu. So just tap on recovery and it will boot into TWRP. Again, the first boot for TWRP may take about two to three minutes and the recovery will be in Chinese. So don't panic. Just click on this button here that is settings and then follow the instructions on the screen to change the language to English. And we are good. So TWRP is now in installed. Let's go ahead and flash Super SU and Lazy Flasher. Now this zip flash will take around you know three to five minutes because it does a lot of things under the hood modifications ram disk and stuff so just wait while this is done okay so wipe cache in dalvik to be safe okay and if you get this option disable recovery flash just go ahead and disable recovery flash so that your TWRP is not overwritten by the stock recovery. Now again, as we have just rooted the device and installed a custom recovery, the first boot will take anywhere between five to seven minutes. So leave it alone and you will definitely boot into the system. Now, once you're back to MIUI, there's nothing much that you need to do. You just need to unlock your phone, go to the installed app, and you will notice that Super SU is installed. You can select new or expert user based on your preferences. And there you go, the binary is installed, root access is perfectly working and there's no issues at all. So if you like this video, like, share and subscribe, stay tuned.